Microsoft Surface Book 3 13.5 inch and 15 inch new models are now on sale, but how fast are they? So for all the latest news, reviews and comparisons, don't forget to press subscribe and also don't forget to press that bell. Microsoft Surface Books is the top range laptop tablet Microsoft provides. The Surface Book is a rival device to such devices like the starter range 16 inch MacBook Pros. I want to conduct a Surface Book 3 benchmark test between the predecessor Surface Book 2 and the latest 16 inch MacBook Pro. First of all, looking at the latest Surface Book 3, the actual fundamentals of the design have not really changed. Microsoft's hardware team have overhauled the chips that power them, bringing them up to speed for 2020. This is a move like what Apple do to their range every, say, 12 to 18 months, before a new design around every four or so years. I have been lucky enough to have a go on a Surface Book 3 15 inch model. While it's too early still to get general remarks on battery life and the overall experience, I've run some benchmarks to see what the new Core i7 10th Gen and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti can deliver. So before jumping into the benchmarks, let's have a quick reflection of what Microsoft are claiming the differences are between the new Surface Book 3 15 inch over the old Surface Book 2 15 inch. So starting with the processor, the new processor is now a 10th gen compared to an 8th gen processor, what used to be in the Surface Book 2. The RAM is now DDR4 at last instead of DDR3, so that's a much more faster bus speeds inside that. And also we have the option of 32 gigabytes now in the Surface Book 3. Same with storage as well. We now have an extra option of two terabytes. And then there's a biggie change here. Next of all, in graphics, we now have the option of the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti inside it instead of the GTX 1060 that was in the Surface Book 2. For connectivity, we do have a few changes as well. The new Surface Book 3 now has Wi-Fi 6 and also has Bluetooth 5.0 compared to Bluetooth 4.1 in the Surface Book 2. For battery life, it's only slightly better in the Surface Book 3. We now have 17.5 hours compared to the 17 hours. And finally, the charger, we also now have 127 watts compared to 102 watts. This means then charging should be slightly more faster than on the Surface Book 2. As you can see, there is a noticeable bump in specs here between the old model and the new. Well, let's look at real life benchmark comparisons against the old versus the new and also putting in a rival like the latest 16 inch MacBook Pro. I put all three for a popular benchmarking app, what is Geekbench 5. For the Geekbench 5 CPU test, there is a slight boost in CPU performance when switching from the 8th gen to the Intel 10th gen Core i7 with the Surface Books. However, compared with a MacBook Pro 16 inch entry model, even though it's a 9th gen i7, this is actually about 20% more faster than the new Surface Book. But the significant increase comes from the GTX 1660 Ti graphics card inside the Surface Book. We are talking about a 40% increase over the Surface Book 2 GTX 1060 and also about a 125% increase over an AMD Radeon Pro 5300M, what is the graphics inside the starter range of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now the Surface Book's graphics capability might wipe the floor of the MacBook Pro, but the prices are the same if you opt for the same amount of storage of 512GB and RAM of 32GB for a total of US$2,799. So if you want a laptop for high intensive graphics and gaming on the go from Microsoft, this might be the laptop for you. We must also not forget the Surface Book has its party piece as well. And that is where the screen can detach and just become a tablet. Overall, I believe Microsoft have raised the bar for their predecessor ready with specs for 2020 and beyond. 
Well, guys, it's time to wrap this up. So let me know your thoughts on the new Surface Book 3. Do you own one or do you use any of Microsoft Surface devices? Let me know below. If you have also enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to press like. And if you want the latest news, reviews and comparisons, make sure you press the subscribe button as well. Until next time, guys. See ya.